Good evening, everyone. Um, just to quote Carl, uh, he said, always be suspicious of people or things that have to S or to Z in their name. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, very suspicious. And uh, second thing, apologies for the little delay, but I wasn't supposed to be here. I only about 7 o'clock managed to find someone to look after my daughter, and therefore uh, I didn't have a presentation organized for you. So you will have to bear with me and uh, go through the presentation that I made in uh, April to the International Association of Other Geologists in Tullamore at the conference there. And is a bit technical. I hope it's not too technical. Uh, anyway, I'm here for questions. Uh, who am I? I'm an environmental consultant. I'm not an industry pro-development. I want development, but I don't want development at all costs. Okay, so I want development done properly. I want development done when it makes sense. I want development done when it's a step forward. I don't want development to allow the developers to make money per se. So let's just for that I'm born uh, undercover person in the, in the audience, if there's anyone. I'm not the three other. Um, <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Uh, oh, sorry, another thing. I'm not going to talk about heart rates. Uh, the reason for that is that maybe because, as you understand from my accent, I'm from South Lago, very South Lago, and I do not really have people's heart rates. Heart rates are not fun, but an heart has is normally produced by a fucking event 2.5, 3 at most of money to the is really something like a big truck uh, breaking uh, gear spires uh, to the pub downstairs. So, I mean, I'm not saying it's fun, but it's not a big problem to me, it's quite a lot of what I So, I'm not going to, to, to elaborate on that base at all. Now, that's, you know, that map better than me, uh, that's the license area, about almost 50 50 divided across the borders, like the border in the south and the north. Someone has told me recently that Tambor and Zorin, which all the part that was licensed to them in Tantosilo, which is pretty new, so I can just pack up and go home now, back to other my own trees. Um, however, uh, yeah, that, that fact that some of the rivers uh, discharge water is liable, so I should stay there. Okay, um, now look at this map. Um, and that's the one I was trying to put in, so sorry if it covers a little bit of the writing. That's not one of my daughter's story. That's the geological map from the GSI. All the colors indicate different kind of rocks. And all those nice, beautiful black lines are faults. Fault is basically is a fracture in the rock where sometime an earthquake happened because the ground moved. And um, it's a fracture is a big fracture and therefore is a way of allowing fluids to move up and laterally and up. Mm, so it's not easy to find an area which is enough far away from any fracture there that you could safely do any kind of nice and so progressive activities as is proposed. Now, in terms of just of quickly about geology, the nice rocks that I want you to focus on are these light blue rocks. They are the carboniferous limestones. Particularly two formations, uh, we really divide all the rocks in formation because we like to do something, just to justify our own work as geologists. But um, there's two major geology from the limestone formations that I would like you to focus on. That again is a simplified uh, version. I can back on that in a second. One is this, uh, this dark, dark blue here, that's a valley shadow limestone, and then one is this other <coughs> light blue up there, that's a dark limestone. The dark limestone, just to, to visualize it, is the one that makes the cliffs in the valleys, is the one that German Gronian cave or the Lago Large caves are. This kind of things. Valley Shadow Limestone is not so popular because it's not so caved as much, classified as you like to say, as much as the dark limestone. Notwithstanding that, as a bad habit of having some crust features, particularly around um, the Bordeaux Valley Shadow area. And the um, interesting things that these two limestones have is that from the geological survey of Ireland, as aquifers, which means as rocks that carry water, they are classified as regionally, uh, sorry, they are classified as regionally important, 
What does it mean? That means that they have enough quarters to buy a town, or if you build enough well, a city. Uh, for example, in the area of Balishan, we supply by, by Balishan limestones. North Star is developing recently, uh, as you speak, actually, they are trading down the uh, Balishan limestone to, to expand the water supply in North Star. Also, some of the, of the lakes in the area which supply water to uh, towns and, uh, and villages uh, are lying on top of these limestones. For example, Lock Hill, which supplies water to Sligo Town and to most of the has an um, occurrence of life on top of the Dartmouth limestone, so directly at rally contact. And North Carolina has several springs and wells that are developed in the Dartmouth limestones. Uh, Fermanagh, Oh, these guys, uh, the Balishan of limestone under, underlies almost half of Locker. Locker is the source of water for the wall of the map. So you understand immediately probably that something happens to these limestones. Um, there's quite a bit of a risk there. Uh, risks, we all do run risks every morning. We get up, we start running risks. The point is, it worthwhile? What are we doing it for? Now, this is geological section. The only geological section of the area, which is available in the structure, is made by Tambora, thanks to them. And uh, what it shows to you is the geological relationship, physical relationship, between different kinds of rocks. As I, remember, as I said earlier on, the dark blue and the light blue is limestone. The Pandora shale is that yellowy ochre color. Uh, color um, and this is the one that is targeted in the, in the past. I looked at the moon and more suns that are above it, but now I think the bottom shades are better. Um, you see yourself nice straight on top of the body shallow limestone. The thickness of rocks between the bottom shades and the dark limestone above varies between 4 and 700 meters. So there's a buffer area between 400 and 700 meters um, between. The area which is targeted and the most important in terms of water supply of the two uh, aquifers, original important aquifers in the area. The other interesting thing that I would like to uh, bring you back to this slide again is you see that rock there indicated is as LM, and that's the rural core limestone. LMs and uh, the brown beside it, that's the root or shales. Both of them are classified as locally important aquifers. What does it mean? It's that they have some water, not a lot. You cannot satisfy the water demand of Alishan from there, but definitely for small villages, for a small farm, for quite a single houses, uh, some of them they may well get their water from the good or shares. And as a matter of fact, they do. Uh, there is uh, uh, there are some information there is some information sorry about uh, well water wells in the Donegal area, which are basically on dual shares, some of them literally again in the same shares. Now, what are we proposing to do here? The numbers keep changing, it's not very big, so 2,500 well, no, 9,000 well, 460, 400 to 600 paths, no, sorry, 120 paths, 20 years, no, 50 years. Um, in the initial project area, 120 paths. Uh, the initial project area is the famous, I'm bringing it back again, I hope you don't get a uh, habit from this kit. But that circle uh, center more or less on 50 km. That was supposed to be the initial project area, then it became the only available area, then it disappeared altogether. So there was supposed to be 120 paths just in that area. And uh, each path takes according to uh, how it's developed, how it's built, how many wells going, up to three point something hectares, excluding access roads, excluding uh, Excluding pools for collecting rainwater or for accumulating uh, fatty fluid. Each well requires between three and five fracturing events because gas in the fracking has the bad habit of not keep flowing until it's finished. If it starts flowing, then it progressively goes down, then you have to refract, then it starts again, and then it goes down again, then you have to refract again. So you have to refract between three and five times during the lifespan of the well which is normally 30 years. What is flat for? You all know, is water and sand, nothing else, because we believe what Tom uh, says. 
So no other compounds for any other reason, uh, they found some nice compound called the USA that has won awards for their outstanding superior. When I was in primary school, my teacher earned me the same sentence using two superlatives, I would get a benign chemical. Almost always superlatives, mostly superior, first class quality, outstanding. And uh, you know, English better than me, you can find other ones. Um, that's what does mean 120 part in the little area. Every single white dog would have been a part. Now, maybe that's slightly changed now because now we are talking about less part and more less per part, but still the, the level of, of use of land and impact on the land deriving from that kind of intensity of this industrial process is without any uh, equivalent, definitely.